Morning, everybody. I am Kenshin 1913, along with the great Ghosty Films. Hello. And we are going to be doing some Conan Exiles, and I honestly cannot wait to show you the new trick that I learned. I'm not going to be stupid anymore. Yay! Right, everybody? <laughs> Yay for no stupidity. So, no, I don't want to play single player. I don't even know what sing. I wonder what single player is. I think it's just people. I I don't know. Maybe one day you should play it. Maybe. And report well, back and report back to me on what's what what the hell it is. But yeah, tonight it's just me and Dan. On on our many adventures. Pete, you've arisen. I'm up. My name is Fisto. You do not call me Pete. I am. Sorry. I am Fisto, Lord of the Anal thing. Hey, Abel, what's up? All right, so let me show you the new trick I just figured out how to do. Oh, yeah. Uh, nope. Did you just open that door? I might have. I learned how to do something. Yes! I know how to take things off my inventory. Yes! No longer shall my inventory be filled with garbage. Or maybe it will be. Let's see. What did you do, Pete, just in case other people are watching and they want to play this? Alright, so what I did was I selected it with A, and I hit that, and I went like that. And then I hit A. No, I don't want... I don't... How come it didn't come off? Let's see... Nope. Alright, maybe I didn't do it. I watched a video on it just recently. I hit A, right, to select the empty space. Nope. Nope. But yeah, so, I hope everybody's having a good whatever. Select slot to remove uh, this item. And there we go. We should have removed it, but it didn't come off. I don't know. What the hell? I'm pretty sure that I did this right. They took time to do this real life stuff. What the fuck is this? Did you were you able to do that last time? No, uh yeah, I was able I can't I literally came on and I figured out how to do it. Uh let's see. And hit hit A. You know what, let me try it with this. Nope. All right, so I want to sort by custom. No. There we go, sort by custom. Now let's see. Now I click on it. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Right, let me look at this freaking video again. Because I'm stupid. Alright. Uh, yeah, hey Abel, what's up? How are you doing today? I hope you're doing terrific. As I am doing terrific. I am doing pretty good. I do apologize for not streaming um, Dragon Quest Heroes. I really tried to do it this week, but a couple things popped up and I couldn't get a chance to do it. I hope to I will be doing it this week. And honestly, I want to try and do it twice this week uh so that people won't be so mad at me. Conan Exiles how to remove item from radio wheel. Here we go. Hello my baby, hello my honey. Hello my rag tart gal. Da -da -da -da. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to mute this just for a sec. So you can't hear the desktop audio so that I can listen to this and not have you guys hear it. Alright, bring up the inventory. So I... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Mm -hmm. This is riveting. All right. All right, I think I know how to do it. Let's hit resume. Okay, so we go into our menu, right? We sorted by custom. And uh, honestly, whatever. Sorted by name. Now we come over here. We select the nothing. Let's go to custom here. Select this item and remove this item. I want to do that one. There we go. I had to double click it. Yep, no vet. Honestly, vet might not be appearing for a little while. All right, so there we go. I figured out how to get rid of items on my item wheel. Yay. You got to double click. You got to double click on it. Okay, Dan. Now we should be ready to roll. But yeah, uh, there are now 50 characters in Final Fantasy Dissidia. That's pretty cool. No, I my food is rotten, Dan. I'm going to drop this food that I just dropped, Dan. I have a fiber bed roll. I do have water. I have plant fiber. Uh... I do have arrows and all this crap and climbing gear and climbing stuff. Yeah, I apologize, Abel. I we can't hear Dan. Oh yeah, sorry. I do apologize for not um for not uh doing a vi uh, not doing a video uh this week, and I really meant to. I, I and you know I apologize a ton for that. All right, so let's see. Open the box, and I'm gonna take the fishy. How do I just take all, but just all of this? All right, there we go. All right, now I have food, Dan, and we're ready to roll. Look at you. Nice. You're looking all. You're looking all whatever. What are you looking like? I don't know. Handsome. No. Come on, Dan. Um, svelte. Svelte. All right, yeah, I'll let you have that. Zoftig. No, I don't even know what that word is. Uh, it's like I think it's like when you're fat, but you look good. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, that's what I'm looking to do. Okay. Soft egg. Yeah, I went to... I went to a dietitian this week. You did? Yeah, and she told me to stop being so fat. Really? Yeah, she said, what are you being so fat for? That was pretty blunt. For I know. Dietitian. Yeah, she's like, stop being so fat. Hey, you know when you eat a lot? Stop eating so much. <laughs> and I was like, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I can't argue with that logic. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why are you eating so much? Stop eating so much. Cry. It was, you know what? Uh, I don't know if you guys know this. I know some people think Don Rickles is dead, but he's not really dead. He's my dang dietitian. <laughs> is that true? No. He looks no. like Don Rickles? No, no, no. It's a lady. Oh. Look. Oh. Oh. Put the ham away. This is a doctor's office. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm eating food, Dan. I'm regenerating. Okay. I'm regenerating. So Pete, I figured out how to um, what we were supposed to do at the Tower of Bats, and I, I put some demon blood and some other things in there, and I got this staff that that's like has a soul trapped in it. Cool. So it basically we have to find the archives somewhere uh -huh. but i don't i don't know where that is so right now i think we can what we can do is we can either go to some of the caves or we can go to this other dungeon called the sand swept ruins uh yeah let's go to the other dungeon i guess i mean we could check out some caves and stuff uh, they're kind of in different directions though all right well then let's check out uh, the sand caves or whatever the okay. sand Whatever that ruin you were talking about, a dungeon. But yeah, uh, we—I was talking about this last week. My character is totally Fisto, and I hope yeah. to God—I hope to God that they have like a one-handed glove that I can get later. <laughs> yeah, the City of Final Fantasy NT on the PS4 has lock in it. 
Whoa, Dan! What? You can't just tear tear that shield out like that and Wowee. Yeah, or you can't just tear out that friggin' What was that noise? This is behind you. Look up behind you, Pete. Oh, oh there's a lady. A lovely lady. Yeah, she's so raising three girls of her own and we just butchered her? Yeah, I think so. So much meat? But yeah, um, also I want to talk about some people have been asking for us, me and Dan, to do some more first person shooty thingies, which I was talking with Dan about, we're looking into doing something. Yeah. I'm not sure when, but we are discussing, more than likely it's probably going to be Star Wars... Uh, Dark Forces. Dark Forces 3. Or Jedi Knight 2. Uh, Outlander, Outcast, or some shit Pete's like that. Revenge. Yeah, Pete's Revenge 3. Or whatever. So, um... Yeah, we're gonna probably do that. I'm not exactly sure, because Dan said he might need some time to play it so that he can get back to it. Uh, or at least get the feel of it. I know I have the CD somewhere. Right. I was looking around for it today. And I can also order it from GOG if, if anyone... Um, I'm not sure what other games Dan is pretty good at that we would be able to eventually like play. Mm. So, it should be interesting. It'll be interesting. Let's equip this. What oh, are two guys in one. What are you doing taking on those demons, Dan? I was hitting them with a hammer, because oh. when you have a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. Yeah, I think you used that one before, Dan. Yeah. But yeah, Dragon Quest Heroes 2, I am going to do it this week, I promise. I don't want, I don't like promising, because sometimes I, I don't, I don't keep up on my promises. Although, for the most part, I do, if it's not like, if it's, not that this isn't real life, but like, like, you know, recording video games is such, such more trivial, trivial than keeping a promise to, like, my niece or my nephews where I'm like, no, I promise to get you that thing, or I promise that I'll be wherever, so. But I do promise I am going to freaking play that game this week. Also, so yeah, they started me on a diet. I'm on a diet of of don't eat what you love and uh, cry every night about it. <laughs> eat what do you uh, love that you can't eat now? Ah, uh, just bread and carbs oh. and, and stuff like that. But here's the thing, Dan. All right, so... What she has me, or what my dietitian pretty much has me working on right now, is she has me working on, like, eating a bunch of protein, pretty much. Uh, because what ends up happening is the food that you eat, certain foods that you eat, turn into sugars, right? Carbs and stuff. Mm -hmm. They turn into sugars. And um, what your body usually, when you're doing things, when, what your body usually does is burn off the sugars that's, like, in your bloodstream, like the stuff that you might just ate. So then the next thing that your body ends up, ta uh, you know, burning away is muscle, right? Before it starts burning away. Uh-oh, someone's saying no closer. Should we kill them? Um, they're coming after us. Yeah, we yeah. should kill them. Or can we talk to him? Nah. Oh, right in the stomach. Boom. Whoa, why did we just, like, cut him in half. Wowie. Anyways, so protein, what the protein helps do, do, does, is it helps give back to your muscles, pretty much, right? So what, and then after that, once it, like, burns through some of your muscle, it, uh, it, um, what is it? It, uh, it works on your, it works on your fat. So she says she wants me to, um... She wants me to, uh, like, burn off some fat by eating a bunch of protein and cutting out carbs. So you're going to just be eating meat? Uh, yeah, or, like, anything that's got protein, like beans. I could still have some carbs, but it's got to be, like, complex carbs, like quinoa and all this What's crap. quinoa? Like seaweed? Quinoa is, like, a, um... Quinoa is, like, a complex carb. It's, like, a grain. Oh. It's, like, a superfood. What you do is you wash it, and then you boil it for 20 minutes, and then you do whatever else you want with it. And it's like, oh. it's got a lot of fiber in it, it's got protein, it's got carbohydrates. It's like all the rage. But anyways, so, 
Uh, she pretty much wants me to eat so much protein a day. And uh, actually, you know what? I've only been doing it two days and it's, it hasn't been too bad right now, to be honest. If you want my honest opinion. Nice. I and, and, and she wants me to get back into exercising, which I want to do anyways. It's just in finding the time to do it. But she said even 15 minutes a day is better than nothing. So I'm going to try at least to do run run at least 15 minutes a day. I'm not going to make a channel about it like T-Sout is. But maybe I'll give you guys updates as it goes along. But yeah, I am just want to lose some weight because I'm a big fat ass and I want to live longer pretty much. So, But here's the thing, Dan, is, uh, is even though I'm going to be cutting out carbs for a while, I plan on bringing them in a little bit. Not too much, though. I don't want to just be like, yo, I can't eat carbs ever again. Or I can't eat, like, potato chips or pasta or whatever, even bread. It's just you got to eat a, a whole lot. A whole lot. That What's that What's that thing? What, it's this? Like an undead, undead jaguar or something. Let's kill it. Whoa, it's ugly. It's got, like, scales. Yeah, dude, we destroyed the shit out of it. Yeah, maybe I, maybe I could do a quinoa cooking episode on YouTube. Yeah, I could. We just need to find the right re uh, ingredients. Like right now, you know, quinoa is basically the base. Oh shit! You know what? All right, I think I know what we can do. Oh, this is a good fucking quinoa. We make a quinoa salad that's fucking terrific. It's got a bunch of roasted vegetables. And um, oh look, here's another one of them things. Dan, that was not nice. What you just did there. What? You just Does fucking... You? No, you just woke it up out of a sleep and you just slaughtered it. Wow. <clears throat> no. Wow, way to these go, Dan. scary looking. Yeah, but you're just slaughtering these things. There we go. But yeah, okay, so we make a quinoa salad that has a bunch of roasted vegetables in it and, like, fresh herbs like basil and, um, and parsley. And then you add, um... Yeah, Dan, that's mean. Even Abel said just, well, this creature, was, this hideous creature was sleeping. You just decided to attack it and kill it. Wait, 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 what, what's this moving in the air? I don't know. What's what moving in the air? I think you're seeing things. Oh, it's like, I don't know what the fuck it is, Dan. Is that the smoke from your torch? Probably. But yeah, it's like a weird, like... Glitchy thing? I don't know. Oh, no, that's not this. Whoa, what is this? There's a ghost coming out of the statue. I don't see it. Here, look up. I am looking up. I'm looking at the statue. Now my torch is broke. Look up more toward the middle of the room. Oh, in the middle of the room. I'm looking. I'm looking so up that it's looking up my own, my own loin cloth. see the ghost coming out of the wall? No, but I am, like, looking right at my tape. No, it's my foot. Never mind. When's it going to turn day so I can, like, not have to fucking walk around with a torch and shit? But, yeah, quinoa. All right, so, yeah, fresh herbs and lemon juice. Yeah, I think Dan might be hallucinating. Dan, you're not... You haven't you haven't taken a hit of acid before we started playing. No, I don't do those things. Or magic mushrooms or psilocybin or all that good stuff. We should have put our bedrolls down. Yeah, I think we'll be fine, though. We're cool. And, and now I know what I'm doing. Yeah, look, B, there's more. Ghosts. You see that moving? No. Look down there. I am looking down there. It looks you like... You don't see any of that? It looks like a windstorm. It, it looks like a windstorm, Dan. I thought I saw something moving, but I don't. it did not look like a ghost. You're like Dude, that... You you're, you're like that old lady in, in, uh, in that movie, Ghostbusters. You know, all the fucking books are going to come flying out at you. Who's this? There's a guy just standing there. Hold on. Before we go, let me eat and regen regenerate here a little bit. All right, we're ready to roll. Let's do this. I'm going to walk up behind him. Okay. And I'm just going to attack him. Oh, let's Could talk to him. Stand? Let's talk to him instead of killing him. Mad fool went wandering in a sandstorm. Eventually. What are you doing? You know, I'm stand this. Oh, I don't know. We can either talk, purchase a heart, or 
Let's, I'm gonna talk to him. He's crazy. Yeah, maybe you could purchase a heart from him, Dan. Do you have any of that stuff? Purchase Heart of the Sands, Scourge Stone for Jagged Scourge Stone Piece. Shattered Scourge Stone Piece, Broken Scourge Stone Piece. No idea what any of that means. Seven Prophets went a-walking. I met a man in St. Ives. He had six wives. His six wives had six cats, and the cats had six rats. How many people went to St. Ives? All right, what the hell is this guy talking about? Should we kill him? I I'm thinking we should probably kill him. Um, I don't know. I All mean, right. I, it seems like we need something from him. All right, I stopped him talking, Dan. He's just carrying stone. Oh, well. Okay. Sometimes you gotta kill a guy. And you chop up him in parts, which... He just kept talking about fucking... He probably... To be honest, a lot of that probably would have made sense if I cared. Oh. But, like, I'm leaving the caring to you, Dan. I'm just like oh. your... I'm just like your big burly bodyguard named Fisto. If I could change my name, I would put Fisto. Because I'm totally Fisto. Look at me. Alright, what are we doing? filling up with sand. Uh, no. No, it's not, Dan. I think... What? Are you drinking right now, or...? No, why? I don't know. It's just, you're, you're saying a lot of weird things. You don't see any of this stuff? Are you, are you a ghost, Dan? Are you a, the ghost? I'm not a ghost. I don't know, man, because uh, I don't see anything weird <laughs> going on. Like, I did see... Like, I thought I saw a guy running across the screen earlier... But I didn't think it was a ghost. It looked like it was a dude. I bet you gotta do something with this guy, with that guy that I just we just murdered. I think yeah, I, yeah. to be honest, I murdered him. Maybe uh, we need to. We need more information. Yeah. All right. Well, he is called Ghosty Films. That is correct, Abel. That is correct. So Dan, it, it, why? Let me ask you this: Why did you name yourself Ghosty Films? What was the thing all about that? I remember, my, like, a long time ago, my brother, he, my brother's always been into programming, and he always made, like, the, he programmed this chat room on the internet that was called Dark Ages, and people would go on, and they would just talk, hang out and talk, and I guess it had something to do with computers, uh -huh. and um, so one day I just decided I would log on to it, and I just picked a name, and I didn't tell, I wasn't going to tell anybody who I was, so I just made it, like, my name Ghosty, because it was, like, um, I don't know, it was, like, a secret like, I was just going incognito to see what they were all talking about. Mm -hmm. And, um, I don't know, I just kind of stuck with Ghosty as my internet sign-in. And, um, and then I just started making cartoons on the internet, and I just called it Ghosty Films, I guess. Oh, nice. This temple serves as the Scorch. It's home of the Scorch. Yeah, maybe we should have read this before we went in, huh? Oh, uh, Stouter says he's at work. I don't have service. Oh, well. Oh, shit. The skeleton's just coming out of nowhere, Dan. Whoa. I mean, scorpions. Oh, he poisoned me or something, Dan. Help. Here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. All right. We did it, Dan. So what, what did this thing say? Hmm. Yeah. Temple serves as the home of the Scourge Stone bonded one. Here you will spend your days in service to the divine element and the one who protects it. Mm -hmm. It is a great honor to you and all. What what uh what's on sale on the summer sale? Let's see what does Stouter want. All right, he says I'm at work. I have done the service for my phone and the internet isn't hooked. Oh, yeah, it'll be up tomorrow, though. They couldn't do it on the weekend. I'm in my new house. Oh, look at that. Nice job, Satter. Good for you. You're in a house. Hmm. And not a trailer. All right, I need to drink some water, Dan. I was hoping there would be, like, a boss or something in there. I'm a thirsty boy. There we go. Well, Dan, there might be a boss later. 
But yeah, I saw that there was a summer sale, but I didn't end up looking. I know that uh, GOG just came out with a sale that um, that uh, that had all the uh, Monkey Island games on it, but we've already done them. At least the first three. All right, Dan, where to next? Um, you want to head back? You want to head? This... Huh? I was gonna say you want to head back in there and just double check something. Now that we now that we've read the thing, maybe maybe now there's that would that has activated something. I right, I'm gonna look up, Dan, and I don't see anything. I'm looking at the that you know what, Dan? It doesn't look like a ghost. It looks more like steam or something coming off the sand. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll nice. have to. I'll have to check out the steam sail then. That's just some whiteness, Stan. Here, follow me, maybe. The one not on drugs. I'm not on drugs. <laughs> I know, Dan. I'm just. I'm busting Nobody your stuff. Tells me I'm on drugs. Yeah. When I'm not on drugs, and I never want to use drugs, because then. What will they say then? I don't know. You just say, well, looks like you were all right all along. All right, I can see where you might be thinking these are ghosts, but it's more. it looks more like a sandstorm. Oh. Is he over here? Or, or, no, he's still dead. Yeah. Yep, he's still dead. You know, we cut off his arms. How funny is that? At least we didn't chop off his penis, right? Yeah, I don't think you can mm -hmm. do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe they'll eventually do that, but yeah. Yeah, I'm de I'll, I'll definitely have to check out the Steam sale. I have been playing, uh, I will mention, I have been playing um, Detroit Becoming Human. I, and I think, Dan, you were over to see a little bit of it. It really oh. does remind me of Blade Runner a little bit. Except you're playing as the uh, the replicants this time. Rather than the, the guy trying to kill the replicants. What the hell? Where am I? I don't know, Dan, but I'm out. I'm out. I'm out of the... Lag, lag jumped back into the building. Oh, wow. Alright, well, wh what should we do now, Dan? Well, up to the north of here, there is the Death Whisper Ruins. I like that. I like the sound of that, Dan. Alright, let's go there. So you know how Paul was the guide in the in, in ESO. You're the guide in this game. You got it. Oh, it's I. It's not. I don't even. It's over there on my screen. What do you oh, mean? Poisoned. Oh, you were poisoned, huh, Dan? Yeah. Well, I killed that scorpion for you. Nice. Maybe that's why you're hallucinating. Not even hallucinating. I'm just lagging a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, Dan. Lagging, hallucinating. Two words that mean the same thing, if you want my opinion. Why isn't this guy fighting back? Oh, Pete, did I hit you? I don't even know where you are, Dan. Dan, if I could show you, if I could show you on. On my screen, you're just standing in the middle of this. You're literally standing right here. Oh. First well, the cat. Well, around on my screen. The well, cat's up here. Now you just killed me, Dan. Now you really hit I did? Me. You hit me hard. I killed you? No, but it was close. No, in my on my screen, you're standing near a rock. And you're oh, not... I'm walking all around on my screen. And you're not moving. You're standing next to a rock. Man, this game is laggy tonight. Not for me. Well, maybe. Maybe maybe we're all lagging, but we just don't know it. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that something crazy? Like to think about? Mm hmm Like, it's like some... It's like some fucking... It's like some fucking, uh... What, what's that show that would, like, made you think? Ripley's Believe It or Not? No. Twilight Zone. That's what I'm thinking uh... of. It's like some Twilight Zone shit. Dan, do you see me next to the water? There's like a little lake, right? There's like a little lake just below where we were at. And I'm there. Um, and I'm drinking water. Maybe I should re-log log out and then log back in. I guess so. Yeah, I'm gonna go up on top of that. 
big rock thing. Yeah, and then you're just gonna let yourself die, right? Is that how that works? Well, I'll just I'll pass out for a minute, and then I'll come back. Yeah, you know, you can call me Kit Fisto if you want. Hmm. Well, not really, because I'm... Kit Fisto is like a green alien guy. Yeah. I'm logging out for a sec. All right, here, I see you, Dan. You're right here. I wonder if I attack you if you'll die. Don't attack me, Pete. Yeah, but I you're... Oh, well, now you're unconscious. It shows Am that I you... on top of something? No, you're in a dune. Oh. I'm just going to walk around your body. I mean, you know what? I'm just going to step on it. Oh, man. I'm crushing your nuts with my foot. Pete, why would you do that to my nuts? Ah, sometimes I need a good crush. Oh. What the hell? Why, why is this game freezing? I don't know. Maybe it's your internet? I don't know. I don't know. Can I steal your stuff? Please don't. But you can? I think you might be it able says, to. It says unconscious. Let's take off my gear. Can I steal anything? X. Oh, I could, I could steal your stuff, Dan. I'm not going to because I'm a nice person. That's why I'm gonna hang around your body till you get up. Just don't teabag me. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't do that. Wee! This is how you protect your friend. You run around him until he gets up. You think they have katanas in this game, Dan? Uh. I don't know. We two-handed swords. Yeah, I saw that. That's kind of cool. Hello. Yeah. Oh, I thought I lost you. It made a weird noise. Oh. So you back in, Dan? Um, the game is starting up. I'm li looking at the Nvidia the way it's meant to be played in oh. Funcom. Okay, that's fine. Wee, wee, dude! When you jump, you use stamina. Come on now. Wee, 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 wee. One, two, three, jump. One. <laughs> this is jumping on his body. This is oh, a. Man. I'm gonna have broken ribs when I log back. Yeah, you're like you're like a trampoline right now. Oh, I am we, we, we. So Dan, how is how's uh how's everything going with music and animations and stuff? Did you make that Star Wars video you said you're gonna make? I made a Star Wars a review of the Solo movie. Yeah, you should make you should go back and make a review on everything. Maybe. No, but I'm not saying Star Wars. Just review everything. Just call it Dan reviews everything, and then like. You mean like the universe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you say you, the universe is cruel, and then that's your review. <laughs> the universe is cruel and unjust. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. No. Nope. Existence. I, existence three out of ten. <laughs> 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 Wee! Yeah, Dan, you're not getting up from over here. I think you're dead for good. I can't seem to load up the server list. Uh oh. And it's raining in a desert. You know what that means, Dan? Damn, mud! Well. Mud! Wee! Mud! I'm like a kid in a candy store. I'm drinking mud. I'm drinking mud. Yo, looks like these guys are grinding. Grinding? So, I don't know what grinding is. It said, like pepper? Yeah, it says... Like it's, fresh pepper on your steak? Some guy says it's not easy to get grinders, lol. Unless he's talking about sandwiches, which are delicious and easy to get. They're very easy to get. Look at that mountain, Dan. There's, dude, Dan, there's a cool thing up there. Did you see that cool thing? What cool thing? There's like a cool thing on the mountain right up to the north. It's like a big cross. We should go check it out. If I could get back mm. into the game, I would. Yeah, we should go check it out, Dan. I'm about to run away from you and check it out myself. 
Oh shit, there's My like a has been garbage th there's like another there's like three crossy things. That's pretty cool. Yeah, maybe you need to call up Comcast or Frontier or whatever. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I honestly don't think anyone's gonna come here, Dan. Unless yeah. the, unless they're I'm gonna walk over there. I'll keep you I'll keep you in mind. I'll keep you I'll keep you looking. Alright. Hell in your universe you might be in your own spot, you know what I mean? Let's see what the hell this is. I wonder what's easy to get over to. Hmm. Yeah, look at that thing. But yeah, we might not see Paul for a, a bit. Because some stuff's going on. I don't want to discuss it just because it's his business. and Some of you might know what it is, and some of you might not. I think he's having an operation. Yeah. Like, he's going to have a, a third arm sewn onto his ribcage. Just, yeah. You know, it's... It's helpful. Yeah, I've always thought about getting forearms. Yeah, like you can juggle better. Yeah, well, no, I wasn't even you thinking can. juggles. I was just thinking like the things I could do. Like, like if you if you wanted to like slap somebody and you were like, nah, two arm, two slaps is just not enough. I need yeah. this extra slap. You'd be like, slap, slap, slap. Well, yeah, you you know like you know like with um, what the hell is it? The uh, uh what the hell is it? The Three Stooges or whatever. You know what I mean? They were all, yeah, like, they were all like knuck knuck knuck, and then you were boom. You get sure. All right, one hit, you you miss the slapper, you miss the eye thing, and then you get him with that third arm or the fourth arm, Dan. Yeah. It'll be hilar hilarity ensues. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if like me, Tisto, and you and Paul were all in a game, and he was mad at us, and he just slapped all three of us at once. Yeah, I know. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Or you could just slap T out with all three hands. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, hold, hold! Wow. What happened, Pete? That was rough. Let's see. Oh, I can get over there. I don't know why the fuck I can't get into this game. I think it hates you. It might hate you, Dan. Is it. What's going on? Is it full? No, I can't even load up the game now. Uh oh. That might be your internet. I'm gonna let go now. Maybe I'll just buy a new uh, adapter. Yeah. That's a net neutrality for you, right, Dan? Although Connecticut was supposed, Connecticut supposedly uh, is doing their own net neutrality bill. Although I'm not sure how how well that's gonna be, but hopefully it'll be good. Cause you need to tell those internet service providers. Don't fuck with my internet. And but they will because they're assholes. I think I'm almost to the top, Dan. I'll I'll tell you if I could see your Did corpse. Did you go into the jungle? No, I'm climbing a mountain. And I'm not gonna make it. Nope, 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 nope. Hold on, hold on to something, Christ. Hold on to something. I died. And my game froze. Huh. Oh, I died and my bed froze. Or my thing died. Oh, wow, I'm naked. You were killed by yourself. Cool. Alright, let's go see if I can find where that stuff is. If you hit your map, there should be a little grave marker where you died. Oh, cool. Nice, Dan. Thank you. And then we're heading towards my death. Where I died. Let's see. Map. Um. Oh, right here. And where am I right now? I'm here? Nope. I oh. used to be able to just click through all these ads for NVIDIA and stuff. Well, now that... Did you get the update, Dan? Did you update... Yeah. Okay. Come on, game. Quit jerking me around. Or jerking you off, huh? No, ah. like I wish it was that. I wish it was that. Uh, Alright. Here I am. 
on the world by myself without Dan. No clothes, nothing. Let's see if I can make it. We. Let's see. Uh, there's this spot on the map? Nope. Where's my happens. Where's my icon showing me where I am? Oh, that's my death. Recent avatar attack. Oh shit, my death is over here. Holy shit, I got a far way to way to go. Wow. Man, I'm annoyed. What the hell? I don't know, Dan. <sighs> my inter- my, uh... Your internet's working. Because you're talking to me. Well, yeah, I'm, that's on my phone, though. Oh. Is your internet working? Okay, here we go, finally. Jeez. Alright, where am I on the map? Where's my marker? Where am I? I don't see me. Should be like a little teardrop. Oh, that's me? Mm -hmm. Fuck, I gotta go this way. I got a way to go to go get me my gear back, Dan. If you get there first. I was climbing a, I was climbing a mountain with a cross on it. Oh, I think I see a mountain with a cross on it over there. I just hope no one attacks me while I'm... Semi nude. Alright, I'm in the game. Oh, good. So, a mountain with a cross on it. Yeah, well, where are you where you're getting up? There's like a oh. mountain with a big monument. You might see my dead corpse on the bottom there. Oh, okay. I think I know what you're talking about. Alright. You know what would be cool is if we could. Wouldn't it be cool if we could sh both show our screens? Like during our stream, that'd be kind of neat. I wonder how you do that. I think I see your body. Cool. Save my shit. I'm coming. I guess every once in a while we should put down a bedroll. What do you think? Yeah. But there's nothing like swimming in the nude. Oh, yeah, you know what? I want to congratulate my friend Rob Harvey on getting married. Congratulations. It couldn't happen to a better fella. Younger than I am. Settling down. You know how it is. Right, Dan? Yeah. Holy shit, Dan. We, w we traveled pretty effing far. Where are you now? I'm running up the riverbed, or running... Running around the green area, or before that? Um... I'm just running, right now. And I'm out of stamina. Let's see... Oh, I am going the wrong way now. What the fuck, man? This is fucked up. Dude, how did we get over there so quickly? To where that sandstorm place was. Um, I don't know. We just kind of ran. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to add, like, vehicles. And by vehicles, I mean, like, horses and shit. I think they were planning on it at one time, but I don't think they ever figured out how to do it. Right. Yeah, and one thing... Well, they're still working on it. I mean, they just released, like, a... A thing that you can buy, so that's kind of interesting. Alright. Yeah, I would love them. I would honestly love a, uh, a fucking, uh, a, a compass or something at this point. Oh, now I'm crippled. Now I'm crippled. I wish I didn't bring so much stuff with me because I'm, I'm over encumbered and I can't. I 
Hopefully I'm not Can going to... see? Holy fuck, now I'm going the wrong way. What the fuck, man? Pete, where are you? I'm on, like, I'm near fucking, um... Let me see... You're Appear on the river? Yeah, I'm on the river. Apparently I'm near, like, fucking Guitar Island. Oh, way over there? Yeah, I'm going the, totally the wrong way. Oh. This is fucked up. Well, I got your stuff. I'll start heading back. Yeah, sorry about that, Dan. It's alright. So yeah, what else do we want to talk about? Final Fantasy VII. Uh, yeah, remake. It's never coming out. It'll be out when I'm 80, and that'll be in like eight years. But uh, what else? Uh, Dragon Quest III. They're considering making remaking, which would be terrific. If they remade it, I would love it. But they said they'd rather focus on Dragon Quest XII. To be honest, I'd rather them focus on Dragon Quest uh, X and have that come out. Rather than fucking... 3. What else is going on in the world? Not pol politics, of course, but... Uh, the Incredibles 2 came out. Did anyone see that? That, that was pretty cool, right? Saw that beat? No, I didn't end up seeing it. I might go see it, but probably not, to be honest. I'd like, uh, you know, it, it, uh, they're going to be showing Dragon Ball Z in the theaters. So that's going to be kind of cool. A couple of the Dragon Ball Z movies are going back into the theater or going into the theaters for the first time, which is kind of cool. Uh, what else is happening? That's through Fathom events. They do a lot of cool events. Like, they do, um... They do, like, uh... Hey, look at that crocodile try to get me. But they do, like, uh... Showing of older movies and they re-show them in the theaters again. Like, they recently showed The Big Lebowski. They sh they're gonna be showing Big. What else are they gonna... Yeah. Big, yeah. Big, they're gonna be showing that in the theaters. Oh. If, you, if you wanna go see that. Uh, I guess not. What else? What, what else was it that they were showing? They were showing. Okay, now we're finally getting on our way. They were showing. Um. Oh. Uh. What the hell is the name of that one? Rebel Without a Cause. With James Dean. Yeah, they were showing that. Yeah, they also do riff tracks. I just recently went to go see their riff tracks. Of uh, Space Mutiny. I loved it. I loved it. It was awesome. Uh, and I'm going to go see him do do a riff tracks of Kroll. Which I love that movie. That's a cheesy 80's fantasy movie. Does with have Kevin Sorbo in it? No it doesn't. It has um, it has a it has no one that you know. Actually it has a young Liam Neeson. And a young um... And a young hack, a uh, young uh, what's his name? Gene Hackman. No, uh, he plays Haggard. 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 Oh, that guy. Uh, what the fuck is his name? He has like a he has like a a funny name like. What the hell is Bush his name? Bushbeard McBeardington. I forget what his name is, but he's in that movie too. And it t and there's it's the only time I've ever seen a good Cyclops. And they ride these horses that are called fire stat, fire somethings that are basically Clydesdales, and they and they run and they're on fire, their feet go on fire. It's cool. So, that, so just their feet goes on fire. Right. Yeah. As they run through space and time. Because if their butt, like if their back went on fire, then your butt would get scorched. Yeah. Can't have that on a fire stallion. No, you can't. Yeah, so Julius elect, you're go, you're going to, uh, you're going to go see that too, the Rift Tracks of Kroll. I I got that movie on DVD, back when getting movies on DVD was like all the rage. I was like, this is a movie I got to pick up, and of course I picked up pretty cheap, like eight bucks or something. My stomach hurts, Dan. I'm gonna be needing food pretty soon. Are you close to where the the green part is? With a green card? 
where the, all the grass is on the map? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm still swimming up the river. I'm over encumbered, so I'm moving very slowly. Yeah, I went to go see. I went to go see Space Mutiny. I've seen them do uh, Miami Connection. I've seen them do Manos, The Hands of Fate. I've seen them do what other movies? There's a bunch of other movies that I saw them do. I love, I love Riff Tracks. Oh, I saw the Riff Tracks when they did the reunion episode, where they got everybody from MST3K. I had to go see that. Is it me or is it me or is my health going down when I don't have any stamina? Like, and it's for an extended period of time. Oh uh, yeah, I'm getting close to the grass, Dan. I'm almost there. Okay. You know, the quickest way to to something is, uh, you the know. Quickest way to a man's heart is through his stomach. No, it's a straight line. I think. Oh. I'll just keep firing arrows at animals, and then eventually I'll be unencumbered. I guess maybe I don't know. I am out of stamina and I am very hungry. Um, where about are you? Are you? I'm by the grass, but I'm where by this weird hooked peninsula. Yeah, I'm coming down. Yeah, Manos was pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'm right next to the, I'm coming to the peninsula, I think it, I think you call it a peninsula, or an isthmus, there's like a big tree or something, are you near the big tree? I'm at the end of the peninsula. Alright, well let me, see, let me, let me see, let's go straight this way. You're beginning to feel weak with hunger. Oh, no. Well, what are you going to do? But, uh, what else? I've seen, um... Yeah, I usually go see the Rift Track stuff, because it's funny. I was going back since when they first started doing it. Like, Jack the Giant Slayer stuff. Alright, Dan. I'm not encumbered now. I'm at a peninsula. Like the big one? I'm going up towards it. I need to eat something. I got some food here if I can find Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't end up going to the samurai cop. I missed that, but I'm sure it was friggin' hilarious. If you can see any eggs along the beach or or bushes you can get bugs from them. Yeah, I might do that. Oh I think I uh wait no those are So where are you, Pete? Can I eat seeds? You, you can't eat seeds, but you can eat bugs and you can eat uh, eggs. Oh, I have plant fiber. Can I stand up? Yeah, I must eat soon, Dan. Are you by a big, like a building? No, I'm gonna eat these insects though. There we go. Eat them insects. There we go. I ate just I ate bugs. No, I'm next to a camp, Dan. Oh, I see that big building. Yeah, I'm running over towards it. I'm running over towards it. Alright, I'm near a big building. I think I see you, Dan. Oh, there you are. Oh. You have food? Nope. I ate the bugs that I had. Oh, sorry, Pete. I'm beating this creature up with my bare hands. Alright, so let's see. Here are your clothes, Thank your you. boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Dan. But, uh, yeah, Samurai Cop was great. 
I just recently watched Samurai Cop. I didn't know of how much of a shit of a crazy movie that was until I saw it. Um, Red Letter Media did a, a video on them. I watch Red Letter Media when they do, like, best of the worst. And, uh, yeah, I loved it. Okay, let's equip some shit. Lives here. Red Letter Media is one of my favorite uh, YouTube channels. Oh, Dan, I don't have I don't have the water or the food. Uh, oh, here you go. And here's your shield too. Yeah. Here's some food. Yeah, I think me and Paul me and Paul have talked about Red Letter Media before. Uh, and their Star Wars videos are pretty funny, too. Um, yeah, let's put the food and the water. And let's eat. And let's eat. And let's eat. And there we go. Now I'm ready to roll, Dan. All right. Once again, on our way. How much time do we have? We got about a half hour. Okay. But, uh, what else? So, yeah, they're gonna... So, Fathom Events, they do... Um... When is it? You know, they go... You can watch older movies like Die Hard. Like, damn, wouldn't you want to go see Die Hard in the theaters? That was a fun movie, right? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Welcome. What theater is this? And, uh, they're called Fathom Events. And you can go see them in any theater, pretty much. You just have to go on to the fathom.com and go check out any show or whatever. Dan, you ever collect any of those coral down there in the water? Uh, no, I don't think I ever have. I wonder. I wonder if it's any. I wonder if it's anything. Plant fiber. Oh, you can't pick up uh those rocks down there, like the different colored rocks. Mm -hmm. Oh, Batman, did, they did Batman 89. Rift Tracks did or Fathom just had it? Because that would be sweet. I would love to see that in the theaters. What is that? Is that a turtle boss? Oh, man. Oh, I went to go see Princess Bride in the theaters. And I loved that. That was good stuff. I... Oh, Fathom, yeah. They do anime, too. They do, um... They do the, uh, Studio Ghibli movies. I think I was telling you about this last week. And we went to go see Porco Rosa... Oh, uh, no, Pom Poco. Which is a movie about raccoons trying to take back their habitat. From people in the set in the 60s. And they, they weren't able to do it. Spoiler. Spoiler alert. It was kind of... It was kind of disappointing. It reminded me of... Whoa, Dan, you're getting... You're getting mauled by creatures here, by the wildlife. Are you dead? No, I'm right over here. Oh, the crocodile went into the water. I feel kind of bad. Why? Is it dead? The crocodile? Yeah. Um, there's one that that's just floating in the, out there in the water. Oh, well, fuck him. It's walking in place. All right, where to, Dan? Um, let's see. There's a cave up here, Executioner's Entrance, and then there's the Death Whisper Ruins. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try to see what, if we can do that. Hopefully there's something interesting in it besides, like, some crazy dude. Yeah, some crazy dude we just end up killing. Oh, I ended up watching... Oh, right, I gotta stand... I gotta stand totally in attention. I ended up watching, um... This movie, it was called The Disaster Artist. It's about the room. Oh, that's why I saw... It was a Fathom event. It was The Room. I went to go see that live in the theaters, and it was terrific. I've never seen it live in the theaters, so it was really cool to see. But, um... I watched the movie The Disaster Artist. I thought it was alright. I liked the book better, to be honest. It has more. It has more backstory and like, uh, and like inner workings of Tommy Wiseau than 
than uh, even um, the original, or than the, even than the movie. But I will admit, James Franco did do a terrific Tommy Wiseau. He was uh, he was really good as him. Like whenever he was in the movie, playing him, it was really good. But like, I I don't think Dave Franco did a good job as Greg. But that's all right. To be honest. I just think, like, the thing was, is, like, they didn't really go... I feel like they didn't really, like, g go in-depth on, on Greg, other than, like, he's, like... Oh, he sees, he sees, um, this guy, and he's, like, fearless or whatever as an actor, and he wishes he could be like him. And that doesn't really, like, tell much about him beforehand or anything like that. Man, Dan, there's a lot of spiders in here. Yeah. I hope we're gonna be all right. Are you? How's your health? Oh, it's fine. Well, you got ambrosia and stuff. Oh, thanks for asking. Your your guy yells like a like a. He like he says brouhaha or whatever. He's swinging a heavy old hammer. What does my guy sound like? Kind of sounds like similar. Hmm. Yeah, if any, if any of you have never seen The Room, that is a movie I suggest you you watch. What's that I don't, now? It's like a, a room? it's not about a room at all. It's about a man named Johnny, who's an all American dude whose girlfriend is cheating on him, and. It's just a crazy... It's the Citizen Kane of bad movies. I don't know if you like to watch, like, just bad movies. Well, this one... This one actually, honestly... Whoa. Like, this one... Wow, you're getting a lot of sco uh, spiders all over you. You got, Did you put on your spider repellent or anything? No. But, um... This... Here. This movie takes the cake, like, out of bad movies. It's like, you gotta watch this one. There's a lot of brimstone in here. You should take it if you need it. I don't. I left my pickaxe at home. Oh, that's a shame. Whoa, skeletons! Now I see. I see this one, Dan. So it's definitely real. Whoa, where's he going? How's he? How's he bleeding blood? Oh, another one. Where? Okay, I'm gonna switch to Mario's sword. And I keep feeling like I'm hitting you by mistake. Uh oh, two of them. Come on, move, guy. Well, they both have. Whoa, Dan, sorry. They both have uh, archer thingies. Yeah, yeah, I've gained a lot. Sorry, Dan. Okay. I've gained... Let's take a moment and, and recuperate. Here comes another one. Oh, fucking bastard. I was you can gonna climb say, somewhere if you need to. No, I was gonna say let's take a moment and recuperate, but we're all right. Uh oh, I oh, died. He, he chopped you in half. Oh, I died. Oh, we should have put our bed rolls down. I can't believe it. Shit. Should I respawn in I'm gonna respawn in my bed, Dan. Yeah, that's fine. Here's what here's what you gotta do, Dan. Just uh just let's get the hell out of there. We'll we'll have to do that another time. Let's see if the, if there's a, something closer to the house. Well I gotta you got um, you got to walk all the way back. Stuff. Yeah, once you kill that son of a bitch. He's beating the shit out of me though. Well, unfortunately, I can't really help you. If I could find a place to stand. Oh come on, get up there, you. F Sometimes I get mad at my character. Yeah, and you gotta call him a piece of shit. All right, I climbed up the wall and I'm shooting him with arrows. Cool. He's beating me up. But yeah, to go back to the room, uh, it's totally worth checking out at least once in your lifetime. It's like a really bad movie, but when you're watching, you're like, what the fuck is this? Because you know what it's like, Dan? It's like an alien came out with a movie. That's what it's like. It's like an alien made a movie. Huh. Alright, I got your stuff, Pete. I'm heading out. Yeah, thank you. This, this would be a good place to come to next time. Yeah, definitely. We just gotta remember to bring our like put our bedroll on. I'm gonna see if I can kill these guys. 
I guess I wasn't, I was just thinking it was going to be another empty cave, like the last view that we found. And I didn't even think of it. I was like, oh, we're just going to walk in here. And... Yeah, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Yeah, I cannot beat these guys with my bare hands. Who are you fighting? I was fighting two people. A Hykaramian sweet skill something and some other guy. I was killed by a Shima exile. I tried to beat him up with my bare hands, Dan. You know what? I wonder, do you have a sword? An extra sword up here that I can use? Yeah, you're going to have to take apart the wall by the um, refrigerator. But just be careful that you, you pick the one... Yeah, I'm remember, not... You know you what? Which... Dan, I'm not even going to bother. I'll show you which wall it is, because I, I try to keep my stuff hidden, so if I get raided, they don't just walk away with everything easily. Right. So I hide stuff in yeah. the walls. And... You know what, Dan? Maybe you shouldn't even say that. You know what? You're like that old lady. You're like my great-grandmother. You would hide shit in your mattress, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, that's all right. I'm just going to come down here and build something, Dan. While you're while we're waiting, I'm just gonna build things. Right. One of these days, I am gonna check out the single player campaign, see what it's all about. It's probably the same thing, just like. I, I think it's the same, but people can't attack you or blow up your um, you know, blow up your uh, house. Right. Stop shooting me, Archer guy. I have an arrow in both feet and in my elbow. Damn. Let's see if I can build a, uh... Too bad you can't build, like, a wooden... Like, a, a wooden thing. Like a... Not a hatchet, but, like, a... Let's see. Feats, right? Isn't there something here? I can build a weapon. Like a wooden weapon. Like a wooden... Oh. Like a wooden sword. You might be able to build better than that. I think I was able to make uh, a shield here, a wooden shield. Who's this guy? Oh, shoot. Dude, I would love to... Dan, you need to make me this cool sword. It's called a... A flat... A fal... Fal... Kata? Or cutlass. Think, That'd be kind of neat. I think that one's not as powerful as the one that, the hardened steel sword. All right. Well, I'm just saying. I think I might even have a. I might even have one in the base that you can have. Let's see. How do I? How do I equip this stuff? How do I make Conan's sword? Whatever sword Which he. Ones? I don't know. Whatever he has. I think he used an Atlantean sword, but I'm not sure if you can make that in this game. I think it's a special magic sword. Oh, well, we're going to have to take it from him, I think. All right, let's see. Conan, you can go into this set city and then talk to Conan. We could do that one of these times. Yeah, I would love to. I would like to meet my idol. Because <laughs> he's my friend. How do I... Okay, wooden shield. I need wood and twine. Twine. I need plant fiber. Will do. Alright, let's do this. Plant fi Well, I got enough wood here. I think I have enough wood. I'm just grabbing shit. Plant fiber. Check it and see. I got plant fiber of 103. Alright, let's see. Let's make some twine. Craft it, baby. How many do I need? Four? Oh, I wonder who lives in this house. Alright, I'm making a wooden shield. Oh, I need, I need wood. How much wood do I have? I have branches. How do you make wood, Dan? You gotta make a hatchet and then you just chop down some trees. Oh, I need more stone. What the hell, Dan? Why does life have to be so cruel? And now I gotta go walking around picking up stones like a like what a jerk like a jerk off. Turn it 
Kurt Fish 3? All right. Looks like somebody made like a dining hall across the street from our house. Our house? Across the river. We have a house oh. now? You know, our base. Oh. Is that where you are now? Yeah, I'm near it. I'm just crafting things, I guess. Okay. Like I got a hatchet. And now I'm going to stand up. All right. No, maybe I'm not. Oh, now I am. Take this tree. All right, there we go, Dan. I just cut myself down the thing. Now let's craft a shield. A wooden shield. So I'm right in front of the base. Damn, how'd you get back so quickly? I just walked a straight line, pretty much. Wow. Nice. You naked over there with the shield? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Naked, Dan. That's not... Yeah, I guess that is... Well, you could have killed me right there. Why would I do that? I don't know. Let's see, Dan. How do I make a stone tool? Here's your stuff, Pete. I want to be able to make a weapon. Do you want to go up to base camp, too, and then just look at the blacksmith bench and see what you can make there? How come I can't... How do you make... How do you make a... How do... I want to select this sword. To make yeah, it. If you take your uh, stuff first. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to have to destroy you with my hatchet and my wooden sword. No. Here, take uh, the stuff first. And then I can destroy you. Why? Thank you, Dan. You're a friend. No You're a real friend. I have uh, blacksmith benches... Up at the base camp too, if you want to go there. Yeah, let, why not, Dan? We have a little bit of time. Okay. Why not, right? I mean, I feel like there isn't very much down here by the river anymore. I mean, we can. I feel like it's just as far. To go to this cave that we were just at from base camp one as it is to base camp two. Well, maybe it's a little farther from base camp. Oops. There we go. I just took something off the wheel. I am getting smarter by the day, people. <laughs> you better Pretty watch sure. out. Pretty soon you're gonna learn your colors. I'm gonna be able to do math, and then you better watch out, world. Yeah. Cause this guy knows subtractions. All right, Dan. <laughs> I don't know where you went. I'm right over behind. Uh, all right, let's go to base two, I guess. All right. Base two, and maybe I'll make a bed there, and then we'll stop the video. What do you think, maybe? All right. But I did gain a level, so I gotta level up myself when we get a chance. But yeah, I uh, hope everybody's enjoying Star Ocean, that uh, game I've been playing. Uh, I just figured out some mechanics of the game. I know, 14 episodes in, and I finally figured out what the hell I'm doing. Uh, but that's alright, better late than never, as I say. And uh, yeah, I'll be explaining it in, like the not the next episode, but the episode after that. I'll be explaining exactly how everything works. I should have drank... I should drink the water while it was over there, Dan. Do you need some? We can go back. Nah, there's water right over here. Okay. But yeah, I will be only playing Star Ocean 1 and 2. In case you're wondering. I mean, I don't know if anyone's wondering, to be honest. I mean, I don't even wonder sometimes. There we go. I wah, 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 wonder. So let me ask you this, Julius Ellick. Who is your or who is your favorite... Uh, I know this is a tough question. But who is your favorite riffer guy? Was it... Was it uh, Joel or was it Mike? Or is it Jonah? Or Crow. Or, or Crow. Crow is also a robot. And Tom Servo as well. There's also a Tom Servo. But, uh, no, I am playing it for the PSP. I am playing Star Ocean for the PSP, yes. 
But yeah, I think my favorite guy was Joel. I love Mike too. Don't get me wrong. Like it, it's just it's Joel by a hair. It's Joel by a hair because Mike, Mike was, Mike was really funny too. I mean, he's still he, they're both still terrific. Uh, what was your opinion on the new series on Netflix? Did you watch the new Mystery Science Theater on Netflix? I thought it wasn't bad. Um, the only thing I would have to say is I felt like. I felt like the voices of Crow and Tom Servo just sounded a little too similar to the essence the uh, to the essence of like being able. Uh, Dan, I had to stop for a second because I had to okay. I had to uh, heal up. But yeah, I feel like I feel like Joel Joel um, or the the new one was just was just a little. It was good, but it. Uh, I felt the robots were a little, uh, they sounded too similar to where I couldn't tell. Like, you know, when you watch the original show, you could be like, okay, that's Tom Servo making a joke, or that's Crow making a joke. But now, it's like it's tough to to be able to be like, okay, this is Crow, that's Tom. If I had stupid money, I would buy Crow, Ro Crow and uh, Tom Servo. There's a guy who makes them. I would totally buy it. Yeah, I heard a lot of people say that that, that the new uh, MST3K was just okay. wasn't It wasn't crazy, but I believe they said they're bringing it back for another season. I'm so, this way, Pete. Huh? I'm this way. Behind you. Behind you, Pete. Your base. Yeah. Where are we headed? Up this way. Uh. This is where we we went to that. We heard those drums and the and the crazy. Uh, oh right, your base is over here. Stuff. No, it's past this a bit. Hmm. Wow, Dan, so you've been working on another base. Oh, yeah, I built, built that other one a long time ago. Oh, wow. I think I may have even built that one before I built Base Camp 1. Really? Yeah. Whoa, Dan, what are you doing to these poor birds? Killing them. Whoa, Dan! Someone's shooting arrows at us. Pete, they're practically dinosaurs. Uh, not after that Jurassic World sh movie I watched, Dan. They said that they're 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 creatures of with feeling. Oh yeah, you know what you know what else I want to talk about too before the stream is over. I want to talk about Coco. The right? gorilla. Coco the gorilla passed away. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. They, she can't live forever. Oh, I guess that's true. Who's shooting arrows at me? Uh, where'd you go, Pete? You will die. You will die now, sir. That's right, you die. Alright, Dan. I had to kill a guy because he kept shooting arrows at me. I see you. Yeah? But yeah, Coco the gorilla. She learned sign language. I think uh -huh. she... I think she ended up... Or they ended up teaching her kids sign language. And yeah. maybe And maybe now sign language will be like a thing. Is Penny Marshall still calling the shots about Coco's family? Penny Marshall? Yeah, the blonde lady. Oh, I don't know. Isn't she dead? I don't know. Oh, no. Gary Marshall is dead. I don't know. I don't like killing... Uh, but, yeah, Coco the gorilla. R.I.P., baby. All right, that's enough. Moment of silence. I was just signing R.I.P. anyways. Is that your thing up there, Dan? No, mine... It's mine is the... We're, we're almost there. Alright, I'm just wondering. Is that yours over there, Dan? Nope. My base is this in the same spot it was in the other server. You'll yep. see it when... You'll recognize it when you see it. Oh, um... They'll be like, hey, look at this shithole. <laughs> Whoa, look at this shithole. That's not, that's not my house. Look at this thing. Got it? Yep. Alright. Oh, that's your thing over there with the hand? You made oh, the hand? You made the hand? I did not make the hand. Oh, that's a shame. 
You having trouble? You having trouble killing it, Dan? No, it's just that this hammer is so slow. And yeah, sometimes, it, sometimes bludgeoning things is a pain in the ass. I hear you. Is this your house down here? Yep, this is it, Pete. Mm. Mm. Welcome home. <laughs> this is garbage, Dan. <laughs> this is really garbage. Yeah, I, I think uh, with the new Mystery Science Theater, to go back to that for a second, I think they really need to work on... Where'd you go, Dan? Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I went that way. I bet you went the other way. I'm, I'm this way. See me jumping? No. I'm to your right. Oh, right. Yeah, I see you. But yeah, I, I, I would have to say I feel like they need to do some shorts. Because some of the shorts that uh, Mystery Science Theater used to do were terrific, and I own, I own them not only on... Uh, not only do I own them on DVD, I own them on VHS. They came out with a collection of shorts. I had to buy it. I had to. Because they were just so goddamn good. And then there was a guy, There was one called Mitchell. That's one of my favorite ones. Is that your thing over here, Dan? No, this is Tar Baby's house. He's a neighbor of mine. Oh, look at that. You guys have... You guys... You guys does he ever come over your house and ask for a cup of sugar or anything like that? No, but he invited me over to his house, and, I, and he, sh he gave me some statues. Oh, look at that. How nice. Yeah, that guy's... All his building materials are with DLC building materials. Oh, good. But I don't really like those. I like when my, my fort is sort of camouflaged in with the surroundings. I don't like... I wouldn't want to make my base red, so it's like... Hey, everybody, look who's... I'm here. Oh, but that might be because of your paranoia. Maybe. Your intense paranoia. Is you're, you're across the wall here? I'm on the other side of this wall. This wall is not mine. It's, it was made by my annoying neighbors, and I hope it despawns soon, because it's just an annoying thing to have to climb over this wall. Yeah, they're, ma they're making a dam. Yeah. I guess yeah. I went up the wall, Dan. Oh. Let's see. So if basically, I... um, these na this building here. Watch out! There are archers on the other side of that building. Oh, I was gonna jump on the building and then run over. No, nah, they're they're archers and I'm, they'll shoot at you. Oh, that's a shame. Cause they they built this house and then they. They built a trebuchet on the top of their roof, and they're aiming it at my base. So I built this giant, like, wall here mm -hmm. to to block the the trajectory of the trebuchet. Mm -hmm. But I think everybody in this clan moved away. Oh, well, that's a shame. So now those archers over here will shoot at us, and I, I and I have built like a trap. This is your house. Huh? This is just the wall I built to block the trebuchet. This is your and house? This, and I made this door very weak so that if people busted down the door, they'd run into this room. And then all of a sudden, oh, I'm surrounded by three swordsmen. And that's it? And then they, they'd have to they'd be killed. Oh, wait. Did I go the wrong way? Wow, well, Dan, you, you think of everything, huh? I tried to. How do we get the hell up there? Pete, let's uh, go. Where'd you go? I went outside to look at it. Here, let's go this way. Are we gonna? Are we letting people in on your secret passage now? Nah. Here, this is my house over here. Oh wow. Remember for this from before? I bought this. Oh kind of god, yeah. Oh god. What? <laughs> yeah, I remember this. This sucked. You don't like it? Why? Ah, it sucked. You should build a giant hand. Can you build a giant hand, Dan? Uh, no, I can't. Aw, oh, boo. You should build a giant hand. Or just a giant thing giving a middle finger. This is easier to get into than the other base. Uh, where are you? I'm oh. over here by this door. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, I guess I should, we should make a bed, right? Yeah. I have more thralls in this base. 
Wow, Dan, you really have a lot of sex slaves in there, huh? Yeah. Well, so, well Pete, mm. let me give you the tour. All right. Um, there's a big room over here with a blacksmith in it. And um, you can build weapons at this blacksmith st station mm -hmm. if, you, if you want to, if you get some iron. I have plenty of iron. I can give you some if you want. Mm -hmm. You can put it in this blacksmith bench and you can make a sword. Mm -hmm. And then um, there's a furnace over here. Mm -hmm. There's a big room over here. You can build a bed in here if you want. Yeah, right. Um, let's see. I can talk to the staff here, Dan. Yeah, that's the staff I got from the Tower of the Bat. Remember there was a crafting station? It won't let me... Oh, there we go. There's a crafting station and I built that. There's oh. a soul trapped inside it. Oh, look. He's, he said hello. Nice. So, All right, what I can else build you, got? you a bed. You can, are you... I wonder if you're able... Are you able to build a bed in your inventory? I don't think so. Oh. Nope. Let's see... Where would it be under? Um, it should be on the top. If you hit inventory, it should be at the top. Bed shaper? Bed. Oh, I wonder if you have to unlock it. Let's look at the feats. A double bed? just build you one if you want. Sure, that would be nice. A double bed. Right. Let's see. I'll get some wood. Yeah, yeah, if you want to look around and, fig and figure out where you want to put it. Yeah, it's claustrophobic in here, Dan. Well, I may I tried to make it, like, as close... I mean, nothing is, is raid-proof, but I tried to make it as close to raid-proof as possible. Right. Um, yeah, I'm just going to make my make my bed down in wherever the hell I was just at. The big area. Down, down here? I don't know. Where are you now? I'm stuck inside of a thing. With this guy. We call him Farter. So let's see. Yeah, I'll live down here, Dan. Uh, yeah, over here next to the staff. Okay. It'll be my companion. Let's see here. Speaking of Joel, I wonder where Joel is going to be in The Last of Us 2. I hope he's going to be alive. It sounds like he's going to be alive. Which is good, because if he's dead, I'd be sad. Although I don't, for some reason, I don't mind if he dies. Because he lived a hell of a life, if you think about it. Joel lived a hell of a life. I really want to... I really want to play The Last of Us 2. I mean, uh, the first one again, but... Here's your bed. You can put it wherever you like. I'm right here, Dan. Yep. I'm right next to you. It's in the Oh, bag look at you, Dan. Thank you. You're a, you're a gentleman. Thanks. I'm going to sleep with the staff here. Let's put down the bed. Put down the bed. Put down the bed right now. I'm gonna put down. I can move that staff over if you want. Nah, you want Dan. No, no, no. It's all right. All right. I'm gonna hit this. Nope. Go back. Nope. There we go. And I want to take out these. And I want to put this. Now that I figured out how to do this, maybe I won't get like a thumbs down on my videos anymore. On my Conan Exiles videos, Dan. Why would you get a thumbs down? I don't know why people thumbs down my Conan Exiles videos. Like a lot of thumbs downs? No, just, just like one? two. But two's a lot. Two is a lot, Dan, because people are mean. And they don't like me. Or maybe they do. Did you put... Oh, there you go. Alright, so our spawn point is updated. I want to go to the map. Where am I right now? I'm right here. I want to add a thing. How do I add a thing? I think if you right click with the mouse, you can add a... Uh... Add a new marker. I'm going to add 
this thing. And I'm going to call it Dan Base 2. Did you, did you have the first one on there too, right? Uh huh. Okay, cool. Alright, so there we go. Dan Base 1, Dan Base 2. So, Pete. What? If, if you go into your feats, is there an option to make an iron sword? There is, but it won't let me. Oh, is it green? It says cret. No, it's not green. I have to unlock it somehow. Oh, you might have to. Is it yellow? I have to get to level 19. I think I'm only on level something right now. I'm on level t uh, 19. Really? Oh, you. Which sword are you clicking on? Mine says level 10. Uh, I go to weapons, I click on iron broad, so oh. Oh, now I can click on anything here. Um. It says you need a pickaxe and an iron sword. I mean a pickaxe and a iron tools. I don't know, Dan. So, Okay. If you click the, click the magnifying glass, um, iron tools you can do, but you have to unlock the stone tools first. Right, yeah. So you, do you have iron tools unlocked? I don't think so. Well, you click on it with the mouse and then click unlock in the right-hand corner. In the right-hand corner. Well, I can make stone tools, apparently. Well, you can make iron tools, which are even better if you unlock the iron tools. I know, I'm trying to. Let's see. I unlocked all this shit. Armor. I have I have four I have fifty available. What does that mean? Fifty available points to unlock things? Yeah, but I don't know how to unlock things. You just click on them with the mouse, and then there should be an unlock button over to the right on the bottom. I'm gonna hit A. It won't let me. It won't let me learn it. Maybe I don't have an. I don't. Let's see. I'm hitting A. Not working. Maybe I don't have a thing yet. Yeah, like all this is. Oh, let's see. We go under feats. Yeah. We, go, we go under stone tools. I hit select. Is stone tools unlocked? No. Is it yellow or green? It's yellow. Okay, you gotta unlock stone tools first. Oh, it's green now, yeah. Okay, now you should be able to click iron and click unlock. Oh, I see how it's getting me to do this. There we go. Alright, now... And then, you, if you want to do a, an iron sword, you can unlock that. And then you just come over to this blacksmith bench. Hmm. And I'll put some iron in it for you to use if you want to experiment. Oh, I see how this works. Oh, now I see how this works, guys. This is all red because I haven't learned anything yet. And when it turns yellow, that's when I can learn it. I gotcha. I get you, Dan. I get you. Oh, I could have decorative war paints. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, we need to... You, in order to... Uh, that's one of your journeys, is um, to have war paint. So I'll try to get some materials together to get you some war paint if you want to level that up. <laughs> Yeah, see, apprentice taxidermist. But when I come over here, uh, iron tools. There we go, Dan. Now I uh, now I did it. Now let's go here, journeyman butcher. Oh, I can make a grinder now. Hmm. Grinder, you don't really need. Yeah, then yeah. Okay, so now let's go to weapons. Okay, now I can make this. I can make an iron broadsword, Dan. Yeah. You I can make it over here at this blacksmith, I think. I just learned how to do that. Now let's check out this. And that's it. That's all I can do. That's pretty cool, though. 
All right, so now I know how to do this. That's good. Now I know how to blacksmith. Uh, yeah, torch. Let's torch it up. Alright, that's good. Alright, so now now if I go to my menu here, it shows all these different things that I can now make. Iron sword. Two-handed stone sword. Where's my iron sword? Where's it show? Oh, so you can't just make it. You need a station to do that. Yeah, if you come to this blacksmith station, you can make the iron sword. Okay. So what do I gotta the do? Sword, you just hit, hit use to interact with it, and then sh there should be a. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I can make a, a stone throwing axe, an iron broadsword. Yeah, sure. Let's make one. Oh, I need, I need branches. I only have. Uh, well, oh, I'll I'm, get you some branches. I have no wait. I have five branches. Okay. You know what? I don't have any iron. That's oh, I need to put There's the iron. The, yeah, you got to put them in there. There's iron in there already. All right, let's craft one. Yay! We're making things. I'm so cool. I'm the coolest. Yippee skippy do. And you know what, Dan? I'm gonna craft me an axe. Yeah, I, 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 and you can craft an iron pickaxe, too. I gained a level, Dan. Nice. It says I got a dedicated weapon. They gave me a level. Let's cool. raise it. Let's raise our attributes. I want to raise whatever the hell my... Sprinting drains less stamina. That's good. If you craft an iron pickaxe, you might be able to gain another level. I'm not sure. Let's see what I'm doing. Yeah, it says store goods, create a home using a skinning dagger to skin an animal. That stuff, okay. uh, that stuff on my journey that I need to do. I can get you a skinning knife. But it's twelve o'clock. Did you want to keep going? Or? No, we're we're done for this evening. I can make a skinning knife too over here too. That's cool. Nice. All right, I so uh, what did you say? Uh, I have some. I think I might have some lying around if you want one. Cool. Well, we've uh, we've made it pretty far. We did some good stuff here. I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight on the stream. I have been Kench1913 along with the great Ghosty Films. Thanks for watching, everybody. And hopefully you don't give me a thumbs down. And even if you do, eh, what are you going to do? Anyways, I have been Kench1913. And I will see you later. Enjoy the rest of your life. Yay. Bye-bye.